it's winter, it's snow, it's nice, just a little bit cold for ham radio activities outdoors. Luckily, I got a new channel winter cap, thanks to my XYL. Some bad news, guys, is that we are still in the another coronavirus lockdown. It means I'm not allowed to leave my city municipality boundaries. That means I cannot go to the winter field or to the forest somewhere else and to test my antennas and to test my antenna tuner like today. So luckily I got my tiny, tiny backyard, which for today will be turned into a antenna field and antenna tuner testing facility. Hello guys, this is Linas, Limo Yankee 2 Hotel. Today we're doing the field test, the improvised field test for the mini automatic antenna tuner CGJ100, which is N7DDC construction. So this is the first test in the field and we'll see how does it work on the, uh, di in the different configurations. First I'm gonna try just uh, my 43 feet uh, wire connected directly to the tuner like into the socket and with some 9 to 10 meters long uh, counterpoise radio on, laying on the ground uh, if it doesn't work uh, i'll try to use the anon 9 to 1 or 4 to 1 anon antenna which i'm gonna use today for antenna tuners tests is just a 43 feet long wire which goes up there to the to the upper section of the flagpole which is on the other side of my backyard this is so-called random wire antenna, but not all random wires are suitable for the ham radio operations outdoors. There are some good length and some bad lengths. So uh, from 38 feet to 43, 44 feet, this is supposed to be good length. There is more information down in the description about good and bad length for the random wire antenna. All right, on 80, it doesn't want to tune at all. And now we try 40 meters. All right, 1.01, .01, perfect tune. 30 meter band in the automatic regime with antenna directly connected to the ATU. One point zero three, perfect tune again. Putting the long story short, it's clear that tuning without the nine to one anon was not a success for this antenna tuner, and trying to tune the forty three feet thirteen meter long antenna, it was not tuning good on no band except of probably forty and thirty meters. On these bands, it was possible to achieve very nice SWR. But on the other bands, um, this tuner and this antenna, this length antenna, uh, were not matching good. So it would probably uh, be possible to find another length of the random wire antenna, which would probably be tuned by this tuner better. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, today I was trying uh, to test the exactly 43 feet or 13 meter long antenna because uh, 43 actually is the same length of the antenna as is a famous 43 foot uh, vertical uh, so um, my idea was that uh, i have also the uh, the s9 vertical antenna which is exactly 43 feet uh, long and using this antenna tuner in the automatic regime it would be possible just to have um, this antenna automatically tuned. It seems that without the Anon, uh, this tuner is not suitable for comfortable tuning of the 43 uh, feet antenna uh, on, on multiple bands. So now our next experiment, we have uh, the antenna wire connected to the 9 to 1 Anon's connector. And this is... And a 9 to 1 and 4, 4 to 1, the optional. This is 4 to 1, this is 9 to 1. So now we are on 160 meters 
I don't believe anything will happen at all with the 43 feet antenna connected to this tuner through the 9 to 1 Anon, but let's try. It took some time and voila, it shows 2.3. It's pretty good and pretty usable as WR, it's under 3. So, uh, in, in some emergency situation or some another, another need to go on the air with this short antenna, 43 feet on 160 meters, it's no problem. Just you need this antenna tuner and you need 9 to 1 Anon. Now try the 80 meters with the Anon connected. Perfect, we see 1.2, 1.17. On 80 meters, the 43 feet antenna is tuned. We go back to 40 meter band. It's tuned to 1.17. We have to go to the FM modulation, so 30 meter band. The tuner is in the automatic regime, so we don't touch it and see how does it react itself. Perfect, 1.0, one to one tune on 30 meters. Now 20 meter band. Perfect, 1.3. Anything below 1.5 is considered to be very good tuned for the antenna SWR. It's a 17 meter band. 1.73. Okay, it's a bit more than 1.5, but still usable. 15 meter band. Okay, 1.0, perfect. So 12 meter band is closed actually as 10 meter band nowadays, but still we can try. 1.05, perfect. And the last in the experiment, it's 10 meter band. 1.28, good tune. One important thing to mention when we, speak, when we speak about this mini automatic antenna tuner is to stress out that this is not a QRP antenna tuner. This means that uh, the minimum tuning power needed to start tuning is 5 watts. But in the reality, if you put only 5 watts into this antenna tuner and your SWR of your uh, antenna initially before tuning will be, let's say, 2 or more, uh, so uh, the uh, transceiver will drop down, will, do, will put back uh, the power output to some 2 maybe uh, watts only output and the antenna tuner will not sense 5 watt, it will sense 2.5 watts or something like that and this will not be enough to start tuning. This might happen even if you put uh, 10 watts from your transceiver into this antenna tuner and SWR is high enough uh, to to drop down um, for the transceiver the, the output power up to some 4.8 watts output let's say this will not be sufficient for automatic antenna tuner to start tuning and it means it won't work simply and you may think that it's something wrong with your tuner nothing wrong with this tuner just the minimum power is 5 watts and it's not a QRP a tuner uh, so if you want to make it QRP suitable, it is possible, but for that it takes uh, go to programming and reprogram the microcontroller which is inside the radio. It is possible, but uh, you need to know how to do that. So, summing up guys, today I've been doing a improvised test of the mini automatic antenna tuner CGJ100 which is the N7 Delta Delta Charlie construction. Uh, the equipment was my go box with the FT891 installed and the tuner and the balloon designs 9 to 1 and 4 to, 4 to 1 Anon. So summarizing, I can tell that this antenna tuner works pretty well. 
uh, if you use uh, the random wire antenna and uh, on some bands uh, the, the tuner tuned pretty well even without the anon uh, it's clear that um, the random wire antenna could be used very successfully with this type of tuner uh, in, if you use a uh, 9 to 1 uh, Anon. So uh, I was not able to test today how, how this antenna tuner would tune the, uh, the, the dipole antenna, uh, but um, actually if it does tune the, uh, the random wire, uh, it means I think it would tune uh, the dipole too. That's it for today guys from my snowy backyard antenna field. Thanks for watching and if you really enjoyed my new winter channel cap handmade by my wife, please give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing. For now, see you later, 73. This is Linas Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.